Hello everybody, Pontifax Jr. here. Uh, this is my video on uh, my current thoughts on the Purity Network, of which I am a member. So, I'll just jump right in. Um, pros and cons of the network. Now, pros... I, I, I haven't written this down off the top of my head. Pros of the network. There's a great community on the Facebook page. Friendly guys. Always people looking to do channel reviews for people. Always people saying, you know, hey, if you've got videos, let me check them out. People wanted to do co-op gameplay. People willing to help each other out. Um, for the pros, there's the gaming hub. Uh, it's not up and operational yet, but I have submitted a video. I'll be submitting another video today. And hopefully they'll go on the Purity Gaming Hub channel. And I will uh, increase my own popularity. Let's say tenfold. I'd settle for tenfold. That'd be good. Um, other, other cons, or other pros. I made a, a mistake. I'm not going to edit it out. Other pros. Uh, I'm looking at my PC right here. We got the Creator's Corner on the Purity Network site. Now, I, I realize it's still in early stages and not everything is finished, but uh, there's a lot of good stuff here. There's, you know, sponsorships. I'm not eligible for any of those. My channel is too small. Beta keys. I don't really play multiplayer games from my channel anyway that would uh, require betas and stuff. It's not my thing. But it's good. It's it's not something to complain about. Um, there are careers within the network, uh, mostly recruiters and stuff. Not a bad way to go, especially if the network takes off as I expect it to. Then you could be setting yourself up well. Um, the main pro for me is the copyright deals that the channel that the network has, because. Although there's no getting around Nintendo with the content ID and I do a lot of Nintendo games, it's reassuring to know that I've got some kind of backup if YouTube comes down on me with their content ID bots for other things. You know, I steer clear of Konami games because I did uh, Silent Hill 2. And a few of the videos got banned in Germany. Well, not banned, but they're blocked from view in Germany for... Well, because they contain the music of Silent Hill 2. I don't understand that. Hopefully, that'll never happen again, as long as I stay in the network. But, you know, that remains to be seen. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff there. There's a video library. Uh, I, I can't... There doesn't seem to be anything in there now. But I assume that will have intros and other useful things you can use for your videos. You can just edit in. Uh, there's a music library. Again, that's music... Some of it created by, uh, I think, Kyle on the uh, on the Facebook page. His channel is Until It All Fits. I think, off the top of my head, I think that's what it is. Um, it's good stuff. I mean, everything on the site at the moment is a placeholder. But if you if you join the network, you you see for yourself. I think it's going places. Uh, cons, because let's get to the real meat and potatoes here. Cons of this network uh, at the moment. For if you're a small channel, uh, they do take 40% of your revenue. However, I, I think that's almost nothing because if you're a small channel, you're not making any money. Put that in perspective. I've got... What have I got on YouTube? Let's check very quickly. I have got 67,000 total views. And in my entire YouTube career, I've made about 75 cent American. So, they can take 40% of that. I don't give a shit. You know? Uh, other cons. The network is currently a subsidiary network of Freedom NCN. Uh, which is uh, George of the George Show's network. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, it does mean there's sort of an extra layer there. But the network doesn't tend to go solo. As soon as possible, I believe. So that's good. I got nothing against Freedom. It's just I keep getting emails from the George Show, you know, saying, "Oh, Freedom, 
email. Hey, I'm George. Oh, George is an okay guy. He seems a little insincere sometimes, but I can't hold that against him. Shoe Nice is also in the uh, the Freedom Network, so that's cool. Everyone loves Shoe Nice, right? But anyway, uh, cons. The main con at the moment for me. Uh, this also kind of comes out of uh, what I was saying as a pro about the good community. The network advertises that, you know, it'll help people make channel art, uh, intros, things like that. But what that comes down to mostly is people asking on the Facebook page and other network members doing it for them. And that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I've made a few things for people. I have no problem with that. Uh, the problem is you make something for somebody and they say, okay, great. But then they keep coming back. They keep asking for more of the same stuff. That's fine. I'll make more stuff. I have no problem with that. But I feel like there should be more resources for teaching people how to make them themselves. Uh, maybe some kind of deal could be worked out with uh, editing software. I'm not saying approach Adobe and get Photoshop for cheap. But even links to GIMP on the Creator's Corner tutorials for how to make even uh, thumbnails. I made a tutorial how to make a simple thumbnail. And that's fine. Um, but a, a comprehensive explanation of various video editing softwares would be good as well. Um, I know this is all lofty stuff. It could come in the future. You know, tutorials for how to use Vegas, how to use Final Cut Pro, how to use, you know, cover the main uh, video editing softwares. Movie Maker, maybe. I mean, you can't get more basic than Movie Maker. But it does the job for simple videos. Um, today I had a fellow network member asking me if I knew how to add some special effects to a video and I told him I don't know. Try using Adobe After Effects, I've heard that's what you'd use, but I don't really know for sure myself. Um, so you know, things like that would be helpful I think. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good network. It's a great bunch of people, certainly that. Um, a lot of small channels, which I think is good, because nobody's getting overshadowed. Which could happen, like, if you go straight into Machinima, God help you, but if you go straight into Machinima, Machinima doesn't care about a small channel. They're not going to go out of their way to help you grow. They don't give a shit, they're making their money from the big guys. Who's in Machinima? You know, Rooster Teeth, people like that. Boom, big bucks. They don't care about your, you know, 2,000 sub channel. They just care about taking whatever little bit of money you are making. And f lining their pockets. They don't care about you. Now, like I said earlier about the, uh, the revenue split that uh, Purity takes. It's 60-40 to you. So you keep 60%. But as your channel grows, that shrinks. Uh, well, the cut they take shrinks, so I don't I don't have the exact stats up now, but eventually they're only taking 10% of your money if you make it really big. And I think if you make it really big with them, you owe them a certain amount of dosh, and they continue to support you, and you know, it's a good bunch of people. If you're interested in joining Purity, I'll leave a link to the website in the description of this video. But for the most part, this video is aimed at Nick, uh, the network's, I don't know, I think he's Welsh, maybe Welsh, uh, CEO. A nice guy, always friendly, always present on the Facebook page, which you will join if you join the network. So, well, it's up to you. You know, check it out if you like. I have been Pontifax Jr. Uh, this has been a discussion of the Purity Network. So thank you, and uh, goodbye. I'm not really Spider-Man, it's just a disguise.